Hey y'all, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to all my love muffins. Um, blueberry to be exact, because that's my favorite, y'all my favorite people. So, um, listen, the part two of JT Get Up Off The Flow. See, that video I made y'all, I probably, I was half asleep, no kizzy. I was half asleep. So the way that I was holding my um phone, like literally, I was probably holding it or putting my fingers over the speaker or the microphone and like literally that's why the muffling was happening and the low volume was happening luckily the parts that needed to be caught were loud <laughs> all that other stuff that I was speaking was just extra but the main parts that needed to be heard was you know heard so that's fine but um I just want to say I just realized something something click click boop 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 Okay, iSpice is now signed to a partnership under Nicki Minaj's new label. So basically, you know, this is a manipulation tactic. You know, iSpice is definitely very, very young and gullible and naive. And she's a fan. She's a fangirl. So Nicki Minaj, her whole art, her motive is to knock these rap chicks out one by one. Nicki Minaj is not the girl that you think she is. When I look back at Nicki Minaj's career... I see how much hype she was. Like, she's better at remixes than her own songs. Her songs are crap, and her biggest songs are pop. She's not a rapper. She's not a rapper. She's not coming in. Name one record where Nicki actually spit, like how, how Cardi spit on hot shit. If you listen to Cardi's hot shit, look at how Cardi is spitting and talking her shit. She's rapping. Listen to how little Kim raps. Listen to how Remy raps. Listen to how um, Jay-Z, Kanye rap. Listen to how J. Cole raps. Listen to rappers and compare their bars and how they just basically on a beat and they be straight spitting and compare that to Nicki Minaj. Compare that to Nicki Minaj's quote-unquote bars. And all you hear is bubblegum, Disney, nursery rhyme bullshit. Like... And then it's like she steals the flow and she steals the lyrics from underground artists. Because do we have a problem that comes from paparazzi? It's a paparazzi and Cardi record. And I'll pull it up. That flow, do we have a problem, comes from Cardi and paparazzi. So the flows is duplicated and replicated. And then when you look at the lyrics, it's like, what? It's like basic. Like... Only line I could say that Nikki impressed me with when she when she was like, what did she say? I don't mind who have beef, something about an outback. No, that didn't impress me either because I'm like, that's very nursery. Like I could create a better bar than that. But with the way Cardi came on hot shit, like the way she was flowing and the way she was really like bar after bar after bar after bar, you know, syncing the last bar with the next bar. Like, no, Nikki's not a hardcore rapper. Nikki is a pop star. So, and Nikki has copyright infringement cases, meaning you getting sued for stealing lyrics and flow, copyright. She got that on her name with Brinks Billion and other people, right? But she brags about her pen. I made videos about this. Um, she also, you know, steals flows from underground artists. Her song, Yikes, that was an underground artist flow, um, you know, and... Her biggest songs, like I said, are pop songs, super bass. All them songs, they're pop. That's not rap. That's bubblegum. And the thing is, Nicki Minaj is insecure. She knows that these bitches, Meg Thee Stallion, can out-rap her. Cardi can out-rap her. Um, who else? Uh, Lotto can out-rap her. If you listen to these girls, they are rapping. They're not singing pop bullshit, Okay. These so-called bars that she has, that's all hype. You know what I'm saying? Because these barbs, they like her so much. They they grew up, you know, they grew up in the barnyard. They don't have no idea what a real city New York bitch really be rapping about or really be rapping like. They don't know what that sound like. You know what I'm saying? They're young as fuck. If they listen to Little Kim, if they listen to anybody Brooklyn, anybody from New York, they would understand. Oh no, this is not it. This bitch is whack. Bitch, is you serious? Like, the heart of New York, hip-hop is, like, really in New York. Like, that's the heart of New York. And a lot of our legends come from New York. So, the way that these legends rap and the way that she carries herself, it's, like, completely different. You know what I mean? Um, and 
they were like saying how Jay-Z and the monster verse for Jay-Z, she killed Jay-Z. And I think I listened to monster and I was like, well, what ears? Am I listening from a different set of ears? So basically this, my point is, is that Ice Spice, she is not really genuinely trying to help this girl. If Ice Spice had any type of knowledge, she would know that she needs y'all clout. That's why she's always bullying Megan Cardi because she needs the young girl's clout because she's done. She's washed. She's trying to keep up with them. If they ignore her, she has nothing. She has to literally stand on her own two feet and she knows that she's all hyped. She's not really rap and she's going to come out and, and, and look stupid. How she did Red Ruby Sleeves and she was giving those little petty nursery rhyme disses towards Megan and Cardi. And what did that do? That flopped terribly, miserably. And because and they're not paying her no attention so she can't feed off of them and she can't use their name for clout and clickbait to sell her whack-ass records and she can't you know um do none of that you know con stirring up controversy with with them in order to sell she can't do that that's why megan cardi they're smart they're ignoring her lotto is ignoring her but i spice is a little fangirl and so you go and you sign with this girl and it's like you really think she got your best interest you really think she cares about you? No, baby, you're just being knocked out as competition, okay? She doesn't want to be, she's never liked to share the spotlight. So she's going it, to, it, the same way she tricked JT out her spot, the same way she tricked the city girls out their spot, they're slow. They don't have a career anymore. This is what she's trying to do to Ice Spice. And Ice Spice barely had a career. You know, she was just starting out and now it's over with for her. Because you got this person, this narcissist, that you think wants you to win. But she's going to make sure that you pass up every good opportunity. She's not going to be on your side. She's not going to be there to look out for your best interests. She's going to make sure that she has you under control to keep her, to keep Ice Spice beneath her. Okay? And so this is the moves that she's making in order to dominate if you a real queen, you don't have to do all of these cheating ass moves to dominate. Your skills should make you dominate. Kim did not have to do all of this. Little Kim just spit and she was queen, period. Cardi just spit and Cardi just was herself and they calling her a rap legend and she, she's not self-proclaimed, okay? Like Missy Elliott just was creative and spit, one of the biggest rap legends in the world. Same thing with Eve, okay? All these different artists, Trina, same thing with Trina. Trina just was herself with that Miami shit spit and Trina's respected legend long in the game. But Nikki, do you see any of those legends or any of those girls running around arguing with bitches, fighting with bitches, competing with, with younger girls? Do you see Trina, Missy Elliott, Eve and Kim? Do you see them arguing with I Spice, Lotto, Megan? Do you see any of them doing that? It's because they can really spit. They can really rap. This bitch cannot rap for real. She's all hype. Can I see your boobs? Can I see your boobs? Like, what the fuck is that? That is embarrassing. Biggie would roll three times in his grave. So the fact that I Spice signed this, it's like, girl, your career is done. You, you are under a narcissist. She's not going to let you win. You're, fin you're finito. And it's like, why would you feel like you need to sign under Nicki Minaj? Who the fuck is a Nicki Minaj? You got all of these labels, Capital, Columbia, Sony, Def Jam. You have all these different labels, these big heads that can help you get to where you need to go. And you're going to sign under a peasant? Someone the industry don't fuck with? Why would you sign under somebody that, that the industry hates? that doesn't have a fan base outside of the barbs. Why would you do that to yourself? All hype. People believe the hype. And it's like, if you get your ass out of the hype, and if you stop letting people gas your head up, and if you get your own mind and really assess the situation, it is not advantageous to link yourself with this woman. She's bad for business. Okay. And then she falls out. Everybody she work out, she work with, she fall out with. Coyle Ray, Megan. She bullied, she bullied Cardi because Cardi was coming and she had, and she took the spot. Everybody she's ever worked with, she's fell out with. So it's like, why would you do that? And then on top of that, JT, it's really crazy because JT, you was barbed out and you was acting a fool. I'm not going to come up off of her. You was acting a fool over Nikki. And aren't you supposed to be the one, since you're not doing nothing and QC going through their label shit, wouldn't you be the one you would think that Nikki would actually sign because... You're the you're talented. I may not like JT, but I'm not gonna. I would never hate on her and say she's not talented. JT could wrap her ass off. You not gonna go and try to sign JT. You gonna go sign Ice Spice. 
Okay. That's an insult. And you basically, and, 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 and JT was showing unwavering loyalty, you know, really shading other girls for Nikki only for her to ignore you and say, basically you, you know, Isis, the princess, fuck all these other, other girls. That's what she said. in the princess Diana remix, she shaded, you know, you and, and, and everybody else who may think that they're relevant. Um, you definitely, she got her lick back. You shaded her when she was, you know, when you were not famous, you thought she was your friend, but she was really tricking you at your spot. She successfully did that, then discarded you. Now you're a nobody to her. And now what happened? Her label, you would think that she would take you under her wing because she really likes you and you're talented. No, she took Ice Spice. Now see, that's embarrassing. And you did all of that for what? You burned all your bridges with bitches for what? You know what I mean? It's like, what? You should have been that. You know what I'm saying? But the way you were going hard, but who she chose, Ice Spice. The girl that could, and JT could wrap circles around Ice Spice. JT can be fucked with when it comes to the rapping shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, When it comes to Ice Spice. And what I don't, when it, uh, compared to Ice Spice, and I remember when JT was like, um, in the interview, she said that Nikki helped her with a couple bars. I said, that's that typical narcissist shit. JT don't need nobody to help her with no motherfucking bars. JT can rap. JT don't need nobody to help her with writing. But because she's a good writer, Nikki wants to sit up there and act like she contributes to JT's talent or writing. Bitch, you don't contribute to shit. You can't rap like JT. JT can out-rap the fuck out of Nicki Minaj. Like, her verse said something shook the whole fucking world, bitch. But nigga, I don't want to hear it. Ain't talking a bag. I cover my ears. I hop in that lamb. I'm switching up gears. My bitches is about to make these niggas cheer. All of my baguettes with the crush face. I'll leave a bitch mad with the fuck. I'll leave a bitch mad with the stuck face. Who the fuck your host playing with anyways? City girls make them wish like Ray J. Let me talk to them. All these, all these niggas want to fuck JT. Like, stop playing like that verse was fucking crazy. Nikki cannot do that. Name one verse that go harder than that verse. Name one Nikki verse that go harder than ever. JT wrote the fuck out of that beat. So why would she allow Nikki to manipulate her and make her feel like, oh, um, you need me to write for you. And, oh, she helped me with a couple bars. What? That's manipulation. She's trying to get people to feel, make, she's trying to take your shine and make people feel like you need her help. And you don't. These young girls, do, do, you do not need this girl. Like, let me recite that again. JT said, fuck nigga, I don't want to hear... Wait, she said, fuck nigga, I don't want to hear it. Ain't talking a bag, I cover my ears. Listen to the bars. Fuck nigga, I don't want to hear it. Ain't talking a bag, I cover my ears. I hop in a lamb, I'm switching up gears. My bitches is balling, made these, my bitches is balling, made these niggas cheer. Bitch, what? Fuck nigga, I don't want to hear it. Ain't talking a bag, I cover my ears. I hop in a lamb, I'm switching up gears. My bitches is balling, make these niggas cheer. Out of my baguettes with the crush face. I'll leave a bitch mad with the stuck face. Who the fuck y'all hoes playing with anyways? City girls make them wish like Ray J. Let me talk to them. All these niggas want to fuck JT. Hellcat is the SRT. Pull up g West 6 3 Make a 55 suck it. See, what? She said pull up g West 6 3 Make a 55 suck its teeth. He want a menage with a new body. But you niggas can't fuck with me because I came from the bottom from the fest to the charter, bro. Bitches ain't saying a thing. Stop fucking playing with JT and her bars, bro. And JT wrote that all by herself, I could tell, bitch. I know. I know. JT wrote that shit by herself. So why would why would you let this old manipulating ass insecure bitch who know she not fucking raw like you try to basically get you to say, oh, she helped me with a couple bars. You don't need her help. You ate that shit up. That one verse, that 30 seconds, that 30 seconds JT gave had the whole world reciting her shit word for word. And young Miami, young Miami got her own style. Young Miami's talented too. People may say young Miami's not talented, but actually young Miami got her own style. She got her own style of rapping. I'll never snitch on you, daddy. I'll hold a brick for you, daddy. Smash on a bitch for you, daddy. They're the perfect combo. You got the hardcore rapper like JT and you got the sexy rapper, Young Miami. And they finna sit up there and let this bitch trick them out they spot. Don't know they worth. And they finna let somebody who they gonna let time, 15 years, cause them to feel like they're inferior or she's been here longer and she knows more. No, that don't mean nothing. You can be in, listen, in the Bible, if y'all don't know, there's a king called Josiah. King Josiah was eight years old when he took the kingship. 
age don't mean shit. She could have been she could have been in the rap game for like 30 years. That don't mean she's better than you. You you started rapping 2 years ago and you you just naturally have a gift of rapping better. You know how to rap better. And she been in the game 15 years sounding the same, dated late. Sounding the same from 15 years ago. So like literally you don't know, JT and Young Miami did not need Nikki but they let their own little feelings, personal issues, and insecurities and inferior and feelings of inferiority, not knowing they worth, looking up to this woman as a god because that's what she gasses herself to be. And they let that lady fuck them up and fuck all their business relationships up. Like, that's crazy to me. But I don't, mean, I don't mean to ramble on, but I just wanted to say, like, know the motives. This is an ulterior motive. She's trying to keep all these bitches under control. I Spice is the princess. Why would you let a bitch call you a princess? I wish a would. I wish a bitch would try to daughter me. A bitch could never daughter me. Cardi made this bitch cry on motherfucking radio. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. She didn't, she didn't, she should be happy to da, da, da. cry. And Cardi made that bitch cry. Cardi killed her ego. Cardi made her change her fucking verse. Okay. A bitch made you change your verse. Cardi wasn't going for that shit that Ice Spice and JT was doing. That's why she's on top. So, like, it's like, y'all know, these girls need to know they worth. Y'all the new girls, okay? Y'all talent, you should never question your talent because the old bitch is trying to make you feel like, you know, she's better because she got time in or whatever the delusional shit that she be talking about. Bitch, what? Like, What? When Offset said Cardi can wrap circles around Nicki, he meant it. And people could say whatever they want to say. But like I said, Cardi raps. Nicki is a pop star. Let's be clear. Okay? So all in all, it's very fake. This partnership or whatever she got going on is fake. She's there only to limit Ice Spice and to control her and to keep her at a level beneath her. And Ice Spice is so damn slow. You gonna let, You don't want to be a boss. You want to sit there and be a worker. And JT, you got played really bad and you were supposed to be in Isis position the way that you was going hard and the way that y'all supposedly connected. And this girl just came out and she completely threw you to the side and gave her the position of princess as if she could name anybody. A self-proclaimed queen can't name anybody shit. Like you were not given that title by, by nobody but yourself. You're delusional. So... That's embarrassing for JT. You know what I'm saying? Lap dogging for what? You got nothing out of it. Queen mix for what? It didn't work out for you. It did nothing for you. But tomorrow did everything for Glorilla though. Catch that. So, um, like, let me show you exactly the pattern of Nicki Minaj. She's, she basically was trying to get Megan on her side to stay on her side and say F Cardi. Megan was smart enough to not pass up on an opportunity. She did WAP. WAP went diamond for her. And that was like the biggest record when it came out. And it still is a big record when people play it. It's so catchy. People scream it. And Nikki hated Megan for that because because it beat Hot Girl Summer. That shit that she did with Nikki Hot Girl Summer. Who, who remembers that? But everybody remember WAP. So basically the fact that Megan aligned herself with Cardi, someone she's extremely threatened by, and they create this big ass hit. It's like she hates Megan for life for that. And then with Lotto, Lotto's another talented rapper. She got bars. Lotto know how to eat up a track. Nikki can't rap like that. She's a pop star. So when she looks at Lotto, that's another threat. Bullying Lotto. Um, and I remember she said about Megan, just because you rap fast don't mean you know how to rap. Why are you attacking her rap skills? You know Megan can rap. You mad because you can't rap like that. If you put Megan and Nikki in a rap battle, who you think finna win? Exactly. That's where that insecurity comes from. If you got Lotto and Nikki in a rap battle, who you think gonna win? If you think, can I see your boobs? It's gonna win? Nah, Lotto gonna win. If you put, if you have Cardi write a bar or if you have Cardi write a song and rap like hot shit, and put Nikki and have her write something bar for bar, just hardcore. Who you think they who you think finna hit? It's gonna be Cardi. Cardi's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? People get lost in the hype and in the finesse. Like y'all get lost in the finesse. These girls can out rap her. She knows that. That's why she's so crazy trying to knock down Megan, knock down Cardi, knock down Lotto, knock down Ice Spice, knock down um 
everybody she could so she could be the last one standing because she can't take competition because she knows that she'll drown she don't have nothing on these girls if you was really a queen and if you really knew that you had the the pen game for real you would be like kim and missy and eve you wouldn't compete you would just focus on your craft but when you don't when, when your pen don't work like that how you gas it up to be you're going to be looking at everybody else because you're going to feel like damn like she can rap and and she can rap too and then da, 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 da. and i'm threatened by that so let me go ahead and divide and conquer that's what she did with the city girls i'm going to go ahead and sign i spice that's knocking her out the way I, she's under my control megan and cardi she can't control them that's why she hates them so much so you got a peep game and these young girls need to know you don't need her she needs you she needs your clout. How many remixes and how many things has she jumped on? And that shit is terrible. Like, terrible. But then Cardi, Tomorrow 2, she did Tomorrow 2, Cardi's verse 8. Anything Nicki did currently, SFG, whatever, Cardi's verse 8 of anything Nicki did recently. And that's why she hates Cardi. Cardi really be rapping. Cardi's smart. She's clever. You know what I'm saying? But, um... This was just about JT basically being a lap dog and it backfiring and Ice Spice just not knowing how worth these young rap girls thinking that they need Nicki. But nah, Nicki needs you, sweetheart. She's jumping on every remix for a reason. She's trying to stay relevant and she's trying to ride y'all wave and y'all don't even see that. You know what I mean? And um, what else was I, was I going to say? You know what I'm saying? And that's why Megan and Cardi ignores her because they know that she's trying to ride their wave. She don't have a wave. There is no Nikki without Cardi or Meg. She always says their name. She always is coming for them because she wants them to bite because that engagement will keep her relevant. But these girls are ignoring her. She doesn't have... And do you notice how her career is suffering? She's whack. She's flopping. She doesn't have that engagement from Cardi and Megan and Lotto. And so it's like these girls, they are keeping their talent for themselves. They're not going to give no ho, no free talent, no free bars, no, no free press, no free promo. Now she's all left to herself to figure it the fuck out. And now look how she sound. A mess. Okay, guys. So, um... This is when I'm going to read the comments of Nicki Minaj so you can see her motives for that I Spice signing. Like I went on a little tangent, but I basically was just talking to, the mo the point of the the point of the video is these young girls don't need Nicki. Nicki needs them. Nicki's being manipulative and narcissistic and she's trying to knock out all these female rappers and she's doing it with different strategies. She used the divide and conquer strategy with the city girls. All in JT ear, probably telling her, you don't need Miami. And you can see an obvious strain in their relationship. And she was really, really riding with um, Nikki heavy. Then, so basically that caused like a strain in the city girls relationship for a while, I could tell. Now they seem they back cool, but it, it was like during that era of her doing Queen Mix, it was like so fake and phony between them. They're shading each other on Twitter. I'm catching it. And it's like, okay, you let a cancer in and look what's happening to your group. Then with um, Bia, you know, Bia, she was never like, she got, she had one hit and now um, I think I read that she shaded Bia in a, in a record. And so um, I'm going to look for that too. But, you know, Bia now is getting shaded. Quella Ray, um, she did Blick Blick, but right after she recorded, what right after she did Blick Blick, like probably a week later, or a couple of days later, she released her own single. So trying to outshine Quilla Ray's single. But so that fake girl empowerment, you know, it's like I'm going to do the record, but you can't shine. You can't go higher than me. So she releases her own record a couple of days after. And then beefs with Koi. Then you have um, Cardi came out and Cardi basically was not, you know, she started busting shots at Cardi automatically. And Cardi did, did nothing but respect her and say that she likes Nikki. And then, you know, she just felt threatened and started to bust shots. Like a big bully trying to rush people or get people out the game. But the thing is, Cardi's a little gangster bitch. Like, you can't bully me out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Bronx bitch. You cannot, you cannot son me or daughter me. So when she couldn't do that to Cardi, Cardi was the first person I think that really bruised her ego. Iggy Azalea, when Iggy Azalea came out, Iggy had some major success with Fancy and, you know, then um, Iggy disappeared. You know what I mean? Like ran her ass out the industry. It's like every girl just could not, was not allowed to shine. 
and she would do everything and find ways to get rid of their shine and now with these new girls you see each and every girl that's out she has created an issue with there's no coincidence if it's everybody that got an issue with you you got to look at yourself it's no coincidence that all these new rap girls it's her she's the common denominator so basically when they asked about cardi b she said the only thing that with cardi that really 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 hurt my feelings was the first interview she did after motorsport came out she said, I remember when I first came in the game, if a female of that stature had done a feature with me on it, I would only be singing their praises and saying thank you. She added that she was upset about the way Cardi B addressed her verse on their motorsport collaboration. The first interview she did after motorsport came out, it just really hurt me, Nikki said. She looked so aggravated and angry. The only thing she kept saying was, I didn't hear that verse. I'm confused. Wait. <sighs> The only thing with Cardi that really, really, really hurt me, my feelings was the first interview she did after Motorsport came out. She said, I remember, she said, I remember when I first came in the game, if a female of that stature had done a feature with me on it, I would only be singing their praises and saying thank you. She basically was saying that if a female of when Motorsport came out and Cardi did her first interview and Cardi wasn't sucking dick like JT did, it bruised Nikki's ego to see to, to basically for Cardi not to be kissing her ass, she said, I remember when I first came in the game, if a female of that stature, meaning her, has done had done a feature with me, I would be only singing their praises and saying thank you. She wanted Cardi to sing her praises and say thank you like she's a god. Bitch, you don't have the bars or the actual rapping skills for me to praise you, sweetheart, and I only praise Jehovah God. Fuck is you talking about? Are you dumb? Who the fuck are you? She would have definitely, if she cried for Cardi, she would have definitely been on like some type of watch. Like she would, she would have got Baker acted because who, what, who? She basically is saying a person of her stature, Cardi should have basically, you know, basically bowed down and sung her praises. And Cardi did not do that. Cardi basically was like people like people to suck their dick, but that's not Brim. That's not me. And that bruised her ego. And she was fucked up about it. Cardi was the first girl to actually let her know who the fuck are you? Basically, she added she was upset about the way Cardi addressed her verse on Motorsport Collaboration. The first interview she she did after Motorsport came out, it, it just really hurt me. Nikki added, she looked so aggravated and angry. The only thing she kept saying was, I didn't hear that verse. She changed her verse. I was like, what? I remember when I heard, oh, yeah, because Cardi made her change her verse. The first verse, she basically was shading Cardi and said, if something, something, if Cardi B is the whatever, I'm, Lick, I'm Nick Lombardi. Basically, she's saying if Cardi B is popping, then I'm the coach. So they were asking her about that first verse. And Cardi was like, I ain't never heard that verse. I said, Cardi said she changed her verse. Basically, Cardi stunned her like bitch you changed your verse because i told them i'm not doing this shit unless she changed her verse who the fuck you think i am for you to tell me that you my coach bitches you stupid or dumb which one so that right there hurt her ego when cardi said the first verse that nikki turned in when cardi heard it hell nah who the fuck i'm not her daughter and she changed her fucking verse and that bruised her ego when she told the world when cardi told the world yeah she changed her verse I was like, what? I remember when I first did a song with Trina for the first time. That's why to this day, I love Trina. She's the first female rapper that acknowledged me behind the scenes. You've never heard me speak ill of Trina because of that. That's very important. So how can you say someone changed their verse and forget to say Quavo told me to remove my singing part, which I loved. And Atlantic told me to remove your name from my verse per your request. You changed your verse. You definitely changed your verse, my nigga. If you was really about that life, if Atlantic told you to change your verse, Cardi wants you to remove her name. That's your verse, right? I would have told her, if I wanted to keep the verse, I would have, me being who I am, I would have said, Atlantic, no, I'm keeping the verse. If you don't want me to keep, I'm not changing my verse for no rookie or for no female. Like, if I want to say whatever the fuck I want to say, if I'm popping my shit, I'm popping my shit. The verse is going to remain. Okay, so if you don't want me to be on the song, just say that. But I'm not changing this verse. If that, if my verse, if my verse has to be changed, Nikki's off that's what you do when you're really about that life but bitch it don't matter who it don't matter who came basically you you confirm what Cardi said Quavo told me to remove my singing part but your singing part that wasn't the that wasn't the part 
that made them want to change. Hold on. How can you say someone changed their verse and forgot to say Quavo told me to remove my swing, my singing part, which I loved. Okay. So, and then she said, and Atlantic told me to remove your name from my verse per your request. So how were these changes going to happen if I didn't? Ch so how were these changes going to happen? Those changes going to happen if I didn't change my verse? She sounds so dumb. She basically, how would, how would those, how were those changes going to happen if I didn't change my verse? Why are you changing your verse in the first place, dummy? The changes happened because you were told to change it and Cardi wasn't going for that fuck shit. She was not going for that lap dog shit that JT do. She told them people, bitch, don't play with me. Get that bitch to change her verse ASAP. I'm not playing. And what you do, you changed your fucking verse because you know better, you dog. Cardi dog walked her and that's why she, and she was embarrassed. And she was definitely, um, son, Cardi, Cardi made her a daughter. And that's why she hates Cardi to this day because Cardi wasn't having that shit. And I would have done the same thing, bitch. I would have went, I would have went myself, bitch. Um, who the fuck you think you playing with? You're my coach. Um, I would say little Kim would be that because that's the, that's the person you cloned. That's the person I first wanted to rock a Chanel coat, but it was because of her. You were a whole gimmick. You're a clone. How the fuck could you be my, change your shit ASAP. I would have, bitch, fuck Atlantic. I would have went myself. <laughs> The type of bitch I am, I would have went my yo shorty like, pull up on me real quick. Or let's have a conversation. Like, what's up with the whole? I'm you the coach of who and what, bitch? What is it, bitch? I don't see a field. Cause what happened? Like what? Shall. Um. So that's pretty. That's pretty much why she didn't like Cardi because Cardi basically stood up to her and made her change her verse. Okay, and she confirmed that. Cardi made that request and was like, basically, bitch, change your verse. You're not finna sun me. You're not finna play with me. And what she do? Changed it. You had a whole female make you change your verse. If you was really bought their life like you like to pop, oh, these are my sons, you would have kept your, you would have kept her name like, no, I'm not changing it. This is my verse. This is what I want to say. This is how I'm expressing myself. And if I want to say a bitch is my son, and if I want to say that I'm the coach, then I could do that. But Cardi was not going to let her play in her face on the song, you know, on the same song they're going to be on. And that's why Nicki got mad. So she wanted Cardi to sing her praises and bow down. And, and it's like, girl, you're a pop star. Why would a rapper bow down to a pop star? And so Nicki is very, very insecure and like, Com doesn't like competition because deep down Nikki knows with all her copyright infringement cases, with her pop music, with her mediocre bars, the bars that she steals from underground artists that are good and the um, flow she steals from underground artists that she steals and gets sued for. She knows that without those things, she's nothing like she's not nothing, you know? And, and so when someone knows and the, but she gasses herself up and she basically blow smoke up her ass and her fans do too and it makes you believe oh well maybe she is raw how they gassing her to be but you got to have your own mind she's not and that's why she's intimidated by all these different young girls because these girls really know how to spit and the bars will say oh their album says who cares is it by talent or numbers? The talent. The, we're talking about the talent. Not these crazy ass barnyard born bred kids. You you kids that eat grass, a grass your whole life and never human food. Are you are you farm animals? Y'all go and y'all buy all these mass um albums and whatever the case may be, you mass buy on iTunes and you give her those numbers, but the talent, y'all will like anything. The bitch could say A B C and y'all finna go buy it because y'all are a bunch of fucking zombies y'all don't have no minds of your own you know what i'm saying so it's it don't matter it's the talent and the talent that these women have that's what she's intimidated by okay there's a reason why nikki is not surviving in this pool of women in these pool of women do you see little kim and missy elliott and trina and all of them competing with these girls they're legendary they already did it been there done that they're sitting comfortably she's the only one fighting to remain relevant because she knows that her talent is not eve is not missy is not she's not that N none of those rappers ever did a super what the fuck does little kim look like doing a super bass that's embarrassing. That's not hip hop. What the fuck does Missy Elliott look like doing a super bass? They're rappers and they stuck to that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like she knows. She knows that. She knows deep down that I'm not that. I'm not that girl. But I'm a lie. I'm a fake it till people believe it. 
and people actually believe it. But me being a true hip hop head and a true hip hop student and I, me loving rap, nah, Nikki ain't it. Period. She's not it. So all this, you know, so it's smoke up her ass and this ice shit that she got going on is just to eliminate. She's trying to eliminate competition. She tries. To, uh, she cannot stand on her own two feet amongst women. She's intimidated because she feels like these women are more talented than her, which they are. So she's using. She's playing dirty and 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 knocking bitches down with different um strategies. And these girls are. And some of them have fallen for it. You know, to their detriment. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? So and all the girls that were fans of Nikki, like Doja and. I um um uh Bia, she's shading all of them now. How she did Quella Ray, all of them grew up looking up to her, and it's a shame that they gotta get in the game and figure out who you really are. You're you're a cancer, you're a demon, and it's like all these girls looked up to you, only for them to be more talented than you, only for them to really be running the game right now, only for them to know and figure out we don't need you, you need us. We're younger, we're hotter, we know how to rap, only for you to disappoint them and break their heart. Like, damn, I looked up to this woman my whole life and she's this? Yes. I'm sure that's how Lotto felt because Lotto was a fan. And you go and you do fuck shit and Lotto's like, oh, wow. This is who I used to stand when I was a little girl? Exactly. That's why you don't idolize or stand these celebrities, baby, because you meet them and they just be like fucked up. Well, I'm here to tell you if Cardi ever, I like Cardi, but if Cardi would ever, like I said, violate the fuck out of me, I'm violating the fuck out of Cardi. We just gonna have to have a Bronx Miami fight. But, you know, in Lotto's case, it's unfortunate. All of these girls, it's unfortunate that they had to find out the hard way, you know, who these, who, who she really was and who she really is. So, yeah, she got Ice Spice under her wing. Ice Spice's career is officially over. City Girl's career is over. Doja's going to be okay. Um, If Young Miami were to go solo, she would be successful because she's finally removed herself from that cancer JT. Um, Lotto is going to continue to be successful. Who else? Megan is going to continue to be successful. And it's going to be relevant, you know, forever in this rap game. And it's going to be more girls to come out. Lola's bubbling forth. So, you know, yeah, it's more girls coming out, more girls coming out. And the more girls come out, um, the more Nikki drowns. And that's why she's hopping on a wave, hopping on Ice Spice Remix, hopping on this girl, hopping on that girl. You know? But yeah, y'all. Okay, so to further my point, how Nikki has always has an ulterior motive when she links up with a female rapper. And how she, you know, burns them in the end um, and uses them. So um, Bia has a song called London. She said they burn, they London bridges. None of them bitches British. Clear shot at Bia because Bia got a song called London with J. Cole. They burn their London bridges. So Bia basically burned her bridges in some kind of way. So it's like, you see what I'm saying? This fake ass queen mix shit, it was not real. J- JT shaded her and said, um, I, um, I, she, she the princess, fuck fuck all what did she say she the princess fuck what they talking about like basically yeah she what did she say she the princess fuck what they talking about something to that sort basically saying whoever's saying that they're the princess fuck that it's ice spice so that's jt shade um ice uh, when it comes to bia they burned they london bridges so i guess something happened with her and bia then coyla ray um Basically, she found a way to beef with her. Cola Ray, she said that somebody told her that Cola Ray was mad that she dropped her song a couple of days after Blick Blick, and she was complaining about that. Like, why would Nikki do that when I just dropped a song? And Nikki was like, that's what had happened, and that's why she's not cool with Koi no more. And she, you know, um, she called her Olive or whatever the case may be. Nikki be finding a reason. She does these collabs just to save face and just to act like she's for female rap but in all actuality she's not she basically is like a Jekyll and Hyde not even Jekyll and Hyde she doesn't have a good inside in her she's basically like poke like she got two faces like oh I'm gonna collab and make people think that I'm a girl's girl but I don't want them to shine me so I'm a shade I don't want them to shine I'm a shade them right after 
So Bia, I let her shine and we work together, but now I'm shading her. You know, I'm done with her because I don't want her to surpass me or be successful. Um, you know, Coyla Ray, Blick Blick, I'm gonna drop a song a couple of days later and steal her Blick Blick shine. Okay. Um, JT, okay, she's basically like the girl that I'm repping right now, but now it's like I Spice is the princess, fuck all the rest. It's like, you see, it's an agenda. And then Ice Spice is the next, next thing you know, she has a partnership. Next thing you know, she's going to drop Ice Spice and mow her like a lawn too. And who else? Lotto. Lotto, she was like, okay with Lotto and was praising Lotto in the beginning. And then Lotto did an interview being respectful and saying that there's just more females in the rap game. That made Nikki upset because she doesn't want nobody in the rap game. And so she got mad at Lotto for basically saying that there's more females in the rap game. And that made her not like Lotto. She started shading Lotto, then drags Lotto into Grammy beef. Grammy defends herself. Um, uh, uh, Lotto defends herself. Then she gaslights Lotto and says that Lotto is upset about not getting a feature, which is not the truth. And then that's how that started. And it's like jealousy. You mad because Lotto was in the melodic, melodic rap um, category and Super Freaky Girl wasn't. So she was mad about that. And she called Lotto out her name, claiming the Grammys was unfair, all because she was jealous that Super Freaky Girl wasn't in melodic rap. And um, um, Big Energy was. So every girl, it's a pattern. She'll sit up there and fake act like she's cool and then slap them in the face because she doesn't want them to be successful for real. Megan Thee Stallion, okay, she worked with you, right? So what's the problem with her being neutral and working with Cardi? Cardi didn't have a problem with her doing Hot Girl Summer. Cardi didn't bitch fit about Megan doing Hot Girl Summer because she did WAP with her. But she created this whole beef with Megan because Megan did WAP and she felt betrayed. And it's like, why can't we all work together? You're very selfish. You want only you to eat. And so she now hates Megan because she did a record with Cardi, WAP. Meanwhile, Cardi don't give a fuck about her doing Hot Girl Summer. Cardi, we already know her. Cardi's the girl that basically was chosen. Cardi came out and just blasted the scene with Bodak Yellow. And Cardi was not kissing her ass. And all of these girls that I mentioned, they were fans. But Cardi was not a fan. Cardi was not that fangirl. And that bruised her ego. And that's why she hates Cardi. And Doja, Doja asked, Doja also was a fan, and now she's shading Doja, putting corn emojis. Because now she, what she did was Doja dropped a single. She was she was supposed to drop her remix with SZA at like nine p.m. yesterday, and all of a sudden, how convenient! Nicki decides to go on Queen Radio at eight p.m. to basically take their shine away from them, Doja and SZA. Then after that, what she do? Um the queen radio it come back it came back only because lotto has apple apple music the 777 she has the apple radio so you see how freaking nasty hating envious and i don't want nobody to win except for me type of female she is so i spice baby you may i mean i i'm a very smart woman that's the way that i think a bitch can't play me like Nicki minaj she would hate me but Ice Spice is so young and gullible and naive. She's a fangirl. She don't even realize that, girl, you you the next victim. Like, you the next victim. She's going to screw you over as well. Like she did everybody else. It's a pattern, sweetheart. You're not somebody that she wants around. Any rap female, she wants them gone. Okay, that's why when she was out, she had no competition. None. Okay, and if anybody tried, any, if anybody remotely got any success, found a way to get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? But she ran by herself and that's how she wanted it. But it's like, are you really that girl if you can't stand next to females? A real rapper, a real legend can stand next to 10 females and stand out. Are you scared and intimidated that you won't stand out, Nikki? Because I guarantee you, if Nikki was in the era of Kim, Missy, Left Eye, and e, um and Eve and Debrat, Nikki would not survive. Nikki's a gimmick. She's a pop bitch. Like She would not survive with that real rap. And that's why she don't want no other females to be out because she know she knows that she cannot survive with these girls who really be rapping. You know what I'm saying? Catch. It's all hype. So I spice them fucked up. But I mean, hey, you want a lap dog? Go ahead and lap dog. I would just say, JT, pick up yourself off the flow. Bia, pick your ass up off the flow. 
And um, speaking of this uh, Chloe thing that I just that just popped up, Chloe um basically charted at one hundred and nineteen. And she sold 10K records. And I can't even, I don't care about numbers, but I'm kind of really shocked about that because Chloe, like, got, she has, like, I, 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 she's, like, literally affiliated with Beyonce. And she literally has promoted and come out. And I thought she built a solid fan base and she only got 10K. That's, like, crazy to me. And that's not because I care about numbers. I don't. If if you sell one copy, it's your art. That's what matters. But it's just that the fact that she's everywhere, you would think that the fans that listen to her would actually buy, but they didn't. And that's weird. Well, okay. Anywho, Nicki Minaj is the cancer of rap. Rap was never like this. Rap was very, very, very peaceful. And there was camaraderie. Even if there was little, like, girl beef, like little, you know, catty stuff it was resolved and it was all about the music today it's all about somebody just just creating controversy and dissension and somebody that just does not want nobody to win but herself and somebody that's extremely preoccupied with everyone else you know except for her own family and her own issues and I think that maybe Focusing on these girls is a way for her to escape her own court fees for her little rapist husband. You know, you got Wade. He's he's doing well. He's talking. His Her family's beautiful. Cardi's family's doing good. And it's like maybe her family's not what she wants it to be, most likely. And she's consumed with other people's lives because she's miserable in her own life. Okay? Well, I mean, since you can divorce him, I mean, you don't have to be there. But anywho, y'all, I think that the obsession with these other girls, it's like... That that's not how rap used to be. Like, no, it was not like that. She's a cancer. She's the worst thing that happened to rap and definitely has made a mockery of it with that super bass and all that pop shit. That's not rap, nigga. Like, that's not no biggie Tupac Kim shit. Like you're a you're a fucking Disney star. Put her ass on Disney. Anywho, y'all, deuce. <laughs>